another one that I practice a lot is that spiritually, that means you you imagine, you put up the person, whether is it a person, a thing, a situation, and have an image in your mind, how it looks like, whether it is colors, is it moving, is it bright or dull, is it big or small, are the sounds loud or soft? And then once you imagine that and you're full and filled with the emotion that you are meant to have, address the person or their situation and thank them. Because when we put our energy of positivity and gratitude, or put it simply going back to our source, in our soul, it completes a circle, a full circle. So when you do that, say thank you, I love you, I forgive you, and I embrace you, and I'm ready for the next step. By saying this, it will help you to close whatever the chapter that has been on for you. And then in the will open the next door for you. Stay connected to gratitude. Hit the follow button right now and join thousands of listeners tuning in each week. We're the gratitude seekers. Come join us. Hi, Gratitude Seeker. Welcome to a new episode of the Gratitude Podcast. Our guest today has been profiled by CNBC, Forbes, and China Daily as a thought leader and leading women's empowerment expert. She is regularly invited to speak on TV and radio, as well as as, uh, as in conferences. She has shared the stage with great minds like Gary Vaynerchuk, Mary Buffett, Kim Kiyosaki and Neil Patel. Janisha Alvora is a former Miss Singapore cafe retail chain owner and Southeast Asia woman of excellence in 2010. From a young age, from 14 to be more exact, Janisha had to support herself through school. Through working in a 9-to-5 job as an occupational therapist and later becoming a serial entrepreneur, Janisha had gone through the highs and lows of being a business owner. Her epic journey from being a six-figure in debt to becoming a millionaire in 2013 fueled her passion to support women to do the same. And she's doing some amazing work in this field she's been inspiring so many people uh, especially uh, women around the world and um, that's the reason why she's here with us and uh, i'm very excited to uh, to have janisha here with us to speak about her journey and of course about gratitude janisha welcome to the gratitude podcast thank you for having me on your show georgian my pleasure. So um, let us know a little bit more about you, so, about some of the things that uh, I might have missed in this uh, short introduction. I am running a female entrepreneur network. And one of the things that I want to do at this point in my life is to leave a legacy. I think that's my main focus of doing business and traveling the world and speaking and sharing about women empowerment. But, and that is fabulous, freedom, financial independence, and a happy family. <laughs> that's wonderful. I love, I love this idea and uh, um, I love the fact that, that you use the, the idea of uh, the F word but you you choose to give it another meaning and uh i think this is a this is a really great idea and uh uh really creative one yeah thank you let me firstly ask you about gratitude like how do you define gratitude what does gratitude mean for you for me it's to be contented in the things that i have and yet be able to come as one 
with peace in the decisions that I make. So when I have gratitude in my plate every single day, in my routine, in my daily rituals, it's all about coming together and knowing that I'm at the right place at the right time where exactly I need to be at the very present moment. Wow. That's such a wonderful thought and such a wonderful way of of seeing the present moment and being at peace with where you are. I think this is very powerful. And um, yeah, let's explore this a little bit. How did you come to, to this definition? How did you get to this place? Because uh, I'm guessing uh, it's something that you learned along the way, right? Yeah. Throughout my growing years, as I was working to support myself through school, I think the growth of having never enough and always wanting more has always been a part of my blood. I think that definitely caused, I would say, discontentment and things happen in my life continuously. But when I moved into the healing space in 2000 grams to reprogram my subconscious, to look into healing work, I realized that when we are truly living in the present, we can have many distractions, but only when we are truly one with who our soul, one with what our soul and one with when our soul is supposed to be, that's when our mind, body and soul will align. The true purpose and meaning and things will evolve. So it was through attending programs and continuously looking to ground myself. I think that is very important, especially I run such a big organization and platform. So these really helped me to be guided and always seeking guidance continuously yeah that's that's wonderful and it's it's such a such a powerful place to be in um regardless of what's happening on the outside knowing that you're in the right place at the right time and um being grateful about where you are in, in that particular moment i believe this this gives us as human beings such a uh, such great power of handling everything that's that's going on around us isn't it yes definitely especially when you know when there is so much like you say situations and distractions and drama and i would say these days are keyboard warriors and i think one of the most common questions i get is how do you deal with this that is one thing that I would address for my audience often, which is always be sure of who you are and what you came onto this planet Earth for. We all are here for a purpose and for a reason. Of course, there are, there are always, I would say, good things and bad things that happen or people say whatever they want, but we just need to acknowledge it and say thank you very much for being here and release it and continue it, continue towards our journey. Because as we progress towards our journey, when we, we, we are about to break through, things happen to us. So I think that's something pretty interesting to think about. Hmm. It's somehow like, um, like a test whether or not we are um, strongly enough connected to, to who we are, to our authentic self somehow, right? Yes, for sure. Hmm. Uh, and I know that you talk a lot about um, being authentic, authentic, and being yourself. Um, how can you do that? How can you be more of who you are truly and express that uh, in the world? Well, this is a very interesting question because authenticity. I would say it's like a box of tissue paper. And then when you pull out one tissue, it, it comes forth another one, right? It's kind of like discovering mm -hmm. the endless 
box of tissue paper that, that is bottomless. So I find that to have that space or to own that space of authenticity is first you want to be authentic. And to put it simply, say what you do, do what you say, right? Simple, mm-hmm. easy. So one on the outside is with one on the inside. is equal. So if you put Aquarius, I would say on the balance, it will be balance on the left and the right. And that will be authenticity. So how do we journey towards that direction? Would be to first, you must want and desire to. Then the universe will open up for you. Then the second step would be how then are you able to accept who you truly are, both with your, I would say, flaws, with your weirdness or with your craziness and your happiness and whichever parts of who you are. Because as we grow up through our childhood years, a lot of things break down or fall apart because of our experiences, because of who we meet, the books we read, the movies we watch, the songs we listen to, and that formulates pieces of us. So to have authenticity in all areas will be then to join them together by acknowledging all these pieces of you. After that, you will, of course, need to do some forgiveness, more loving of yourself, forgiving of yourself, and embracing the true inner child of who you really are. So that is my journey of learning authenticity and growing authenticity. It's something that can be taught and learned only if your heart is open. Then the universe will bring forth the resources to you to help you to get from where you are now to where you want to be or who you are now to who you want to be much, much faster. One of the things that are guaranteed to connect you to gratitude is going out in nature. I love nature. And seeing how much plastic waste we are producing made me think of ways of cutting back. One thing I'm always throwing in my recycling is those huge laundry detergent bottles. But did you know, 500 million of those bottles end up in landfills and oceans every single year. That's why I made the switch to Earth Breeze laundry sheets. They come in plastic-free packaging so they're more eco-friendly than traditional detergent. It's an easy way to get clean clothes without all the plastic waste. Get 40% off with your subscription at earthbreeze.com slash gratitude. That's earthbreeze.com slash gratitude. I've also included a link in the resources section of this episode so that you can easily access it with just one tap. I love this perspective and what I love most about what you just said is that I, I feel that you, you've you really been on this journey and you've been through all of these stages and um, I, when when I hear you speak i i can feel that inner power that comes from authenticity and from being connected to to who you really are and i think that's amazing and i'm i'm grateful that we're that we're able to share this time together and i'm able to share this uh, with my gratitude seekers so yeah thank you for that you're welcome <laughs> and uh, i'm really curious about about something um related to your culture um i always love to to ask people from different parts of the world about their culture and um how they're taught how they're taught about uh gratitude like if there are certain things that are um that people do culturally in their country that is related to to gratitude. Do you have any kinds of examples from Singapore? Wow, we being Asian, we focus a lot on in Chinese or Mandarin. It's called "ying sui si yuan." "Ying sui si yuan" in Mandarin means you must go back to your source. 
roots. For, for example, the people who have helped you, the, pe- the, the things that have happened, we must go back to the source and find gratitude and content that space. So that is, that is very true in our culture. And we are taught that, okay? And so we, we give our gratitude to our parents. We, we take care of them. Our family unit here is very strong in Asia. We don't really say we move out. Uh, we, we live together. If we can be a multi-generational home, for example, three generations, four generation uh, in, a, in a place, I think that is also one of the things or pieces that we practice here, being who we are, not just in Singapore, but being Asian in a perspective. So going back to the source is what we are taught, but whether one person practice it is another thing so for me i grew up i grew up with this my parents taught me this and we want to always give gratitude and and do things we don't really have a ritual per se but we show by our actions or we show it through other ways or you know our ways to appreciate the person or appreciate the source of what what happened or who has given us that opportunity for example uh, for becoming the person that you want to be and things like that hmm, that's that's very interesting and um, when when you say uh, the, the source like for instance uh, what what I'm thinking about is um, I don't know if you're if you have running water you you're thinking about okay this this is coming from a river uh, from from somewhere where you get this this clean water that you get to enjoy or i don't know different um uh, different things that come to you one way or another um you're you're thinking about their source and you're appreciating that is that part of it or uh is this another direction yes this is something that what you've just explained simply you go back to the source and you thank the person. But whether the person practices it, like I said, it will be another matter. But yes, we are always taught this, even in our education system, whether it's in our family value system. In Singapore, we practice when we want to give gratitude, we, we do different things, right? We do give gifts. Mm-hmm. We, uh, we say thank you. Often, I would say find ways to appreciate the situation or the person good or bad yeah mm, that's wonderful so five ways of uh, appreciating a person or a situation good or bad right yes by going back to the source mm. and can can you take us through such a, such an exercise I think that would be very interesting uh, for our audience to hear, like how can we apply this in our own life? Well, one of the things, if you talk about going back to the source, will be to consider a situation that has happened to you, to what you have considered successful in your life, to what you have considered successful in your life. For example, if someone has given you an opportunity to be a yoga instructor, someone has introduced you to a person who in the end led to another open door. So we need to go back to kind of like trace the dots to who is that person who have done that. So there are usually two ways to do it. One is you, the person, if it's still alive, of course you talk to the person and you, you try to find ways to connect with the person and to kind of like connect and say thank you in your own way. Another one that I practice a lot is that spiritually, that means you, you imagine, you put up the person, whether is it a person, a thing, a situation, and have the image in your mind, how it looks like, whether there's colors, is it moving, is it bright or dull, is it big or small, are the sounds loud or soft? And then... Once you imagine that and you're full and filled with the emotion that you are meant to have, 
address the person or their situation and thank them. Because when we put out energy of positivity and gratitude, or put it simply going back to our source, in our soul, it completes a circle, a full circle. So when you do that, say thank you, I love you, I forgive you, and I embrace you, and I'm ready for the next step. By saying this, it will help you to close whatever the chapter that has been on for you, and then in the will open the next door for you. One of the things that are guaranteed to connect you to gratitude is going out in nature. I love nature. And seeing how much plastic waste we are producing made me think of ways of cutting back. One thing I'm always throwing in my recycling is those huge laundry detergent bottles. But did you know, 500 million of those bottles end up in landfills and oceans every single year. That's why I made the switch to EarthBreeze laundry sheets. They come in plastic-free packaging so they're more eco-friendly than traditional detergent. It's an easy way to get clean clothes without all the plastic waste. Get 40% off with your subscription at earthbreeze.com slash gratitude. That's earthbreeze.com slash gratitude. I've also included a link in the resources section of this episode so that you can easily access it with just one tap. That's wonderful. I, I love this idea and I love this exercise. And um, I love the fact that we have a choice, like there, there are different ways of doing this and our listeners can, can choose uh, either one that makes most sense for them. And definitely makes a lot of sense to to do this and it's very fulfilling um, to to think about this situation and the people that um, have led to something great happening in your life. Um, there are always other people that are helping us even if we sometimes feel that we are uh, we've done it alone or or anything like that. There are always other people around us that helped one way or another and we can thank them and yeah i think it's it's a wonderful idea and since we are at this topic uh, do you have any people in in your mind or in your heart right now that you would like to to thank to be uh, to share your gratitude about well there are many in fact in my life and it is called guiren guiren in mandarin Guiren means people who have helped you before. And the th thing about gratitude is very interesting. We are always looking for the big gratitude pieces like, wow, you know, something happened and this person helped me or the situation is so huge, right? But for me, I, I like to thank and have gratitude for people, even to the smallest pieces or situations that have happened, like an introduction to someone and then anything that has opened the door so for me one of my dream was to stand alongside for example i'll stand alongside uh gary vaynerchuk right and to speak alongside with gary vaynerchuk it was one of the things and and at that moment i i wrote to him i wrote to gary vaynerchuk i said hey i would like to interview you i'd like to speak with you and i'd like to hang out with you right and then he, of course, responded and his assistant was the one who followed up with me uh, in, in Hong Kong where we met. So I thank the assistant because we had a really good communication, we had a good rapport. And because of this assistant, we will be able to meet Gary Vaynerchuk eventually and be able to do the interview and have it on my podcast show as well. So you see, it doesn't have to be the big thing that is happening, but it could be just that person who is just holding that space for you, holding that door open for you, and be mindful of that person who, or that situation that is leading to that big thing that you are looking for or the next thing that you're looking for. So this is one 
I will say example, it doesn't have to be the big person or the big situation, but look at all the people along the way, the person who hold the door for you, the person who is at the front desk, the person who serves you at the restaurant. So all these, uh, I would say, are people I have, have to thank them for. So always say thank you and mean what you say and do what you say. I love that. I love that. It's it's one of the things that we, we talk, to, talk a lot about on the podcast. It's not just about saying thank you, but actually meaning it and feeling it. Um, because it, you can feel when, when someone says thank you with, uh, with their whole heart and not just uh, uttering the words. Uh, yeah, I, I love this, this perspective. And um, I think it's very valuable because we have these kinds of simple situations much more often in life than the big ones. Um, we don't get to interview Gary every day. Uh, so we we have smaller things. We eat every day, of course, so we can thank people that are helping us with that. Um, we we do some things much more often, smaller things that we we can be grateful for, and we can share our gratitude with the people that um, that help us lead uh, a good life. And uh, yeah, I think it's it's a very powerful and and simple way of of practicing gratitude and yeah thank you so much for for sharing that that's great <laughs> <laughs> so um we are nearing the end of our time together and i wanted to ask you where can our audience get in touch with you where can they find out more about you about your work Wow. So you can connect with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram at Janisha Alora, G-E-N-E-C-I-A-A-L-L-U-O-R-E, Janisha Alora. Thank you very much for your time, for all, all of these wonderful ideas that you, that you share with us. And I hope that our audience will We'll take some of them um, and use them as soon as possible. Uh, I think they're very powerful. I will definitely do that because I, I really believe in, in what you shared with us. And uh, if you have any uh, closing thoughts, any messages for, for our audience at, at the end of this uh, wonderful interview. Believe in yourself. I would say forgiveness and gratitude is an ongoing work. Just keep on breaking through the ceiling. Sometimes people around us have ceilings that don't belong to us. Look beyond that. You are greater than that. Alone, you are strong. Together, we are unstoppable. Amazing. Thank you so much. Hey Gratitude Seeker, thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this interview. I really appreciate it. And if you could think of one person that would also benefit from it, share it with them. It might actually be the inspiration that they need to make their day or maybe even their life much better. Thank you so much once again. This has been Georgian Benta. Don't forget to keep seeking and spreading gratitude. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. Sponsored by Chumba Casino. No purchase necessary. VGW Group. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply.